On hybrid by Hyundai, stylish and powerful, brings you the run home with Joel and Fletch, soon to be joined by, well, we can join him now, the great Rhino, Ryan Harris, who last time we caught up with him, Brian, was the interim coach at South Australia, but now the coach, who's off to a good start too, by the way, two wins, a draw and a loss, they are going quite tidy indeed, sitting in third position. Ryan Harris, welcome back to the run home with Joel and Fletch. Nice to be back with you, boys. How you been, mate? You enjoying the, the um, full-time role? Yeah, mate, it's been good. Thanks. It's it's yeah, it's a little bit different to what I was doing last year. Probably a little bit, uh, a few more different things to uh, to, to deal with. But um, no, look, it's been good. And um, you know, we've had a, as I said, this end, we've had a reasonable start to the year, which has been nice. A couple of wins uh, didn't quite go as good last week against the the Blues, New South Wales. But um, we're another game this Saturday, which hopefully we can bounce back in. So it's been good. Sorry, hey Rhino, how many of the players in like playing Sheffield Shield level? Would be full time cricketers. Oh, they mate, they all are. Are they? So <laughs> the none, none the, of them are working. Yeah. No, nah, some might have the odd part time job or probably more uni than more than anything. But yeah. Um. So we we have on our list we've got twenty six players and obviously three of them I think or maybe four now are cricket Australia contracted players. Yeah. Um. And the rest of them, yeah, full time trained. So we start back in well, start training in June, uh, all the way through to end of March. So. Uh, no, it's a full-time gig now. So um, with the odd occasion, we might bring someone in from outside the squad if they happen to be making lots of runs in, in the local club comp or the second eleven comp. But no, not many of them work now. They're lucky. They, yeah. they pay pretty good money these days. So um, a lot better when I was playing, put it that way. Yeah, so the cr- is it a bit like the NRL where the Cricket Australia would funnel money to each state or is it just up to yep. you guys to fund your own um, teams? No, it's Cricket Australia that I think that the revenue from the files down from that each state gets us because you're asking I'm, I'm not paid to, I'm the head coach I'm not paid to do no, the big I know, stuff I know, this, I just, I'm just interested <laughs> yeah in no it works. comes down from Cricket Australia there's a, there's a whole I think there's a big uh, pool of money that gets distributed out which which the salary cap is formed from in each state and, and, and that sort of yeah flows down to the state so okay. um, yeah as I said we can you've obviously got the salary cap so I think you've got to have a minimum of I think it's 16 and a maximum of um, 24, um, but obviously that doesn't count uh, in Cricket Australia players. Gotcha. Well, the good news is, Brian, that um, our man Rhino, he's got the same clause as Phil Jackson, so he gets a dollar more than the highest paid player. Oh, is that... Is <laughs> that yeah, 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 oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. So that, that's the good news. Hey, Rhino, you're the coach of South Australia. Your captain has now been selected for Australia. Uh, young McSweeney. We don't know much about him up here. Tell, tell us a little bit about the young 25-year-old. Yeah, he's, he's a little gun. Um He's he's obviously he's a Queensland. He grew up in Queensland, played a lot of his junior cricket in Queensland. He he joined us in South Australia, uh, obviously before I got here about four years ago now, I think. So um, he came down probably again a little bit unknown. On uh, he showed a lot of talent, was in and out of the Queensland side, and saw an opportunity. I think to play a bit more cricket down here, and um, yeah, took the plunge to move at quite a young age. I think he's only twenty one. So um, yeah, look, he's he took on the captaincy this year. Um, he, he, he took on that responsibility beautifully. And I, so I've only been with him for two years as a coach, but I've obviously known him before when I was in Queensland. He's just gotten better and better each year. Wow. His temperament, um, you know, he works so hard. His improvement, as I said, has been huge over the last couple of years. So, yeah, look, he, look, he, hasn't, he hasn't opened the batting per se, but he's batted number three, um, you know, a lot, well, all for South Australia and most of South Australia. And he's, unfortunately, in the last couple of years, has been in a little bit earlier than we probably would have liked. So he's almost opened the batting in, in, in a few innings that he's played mm. for South Australia. So it's a different spot, but he's he's the one that, you know, will listen, will learn, take everything on, take everything in stride. He's that excited. He rang me when he got the phone call from George Bailey, almost in tears. He was wow. so pumped about it. So he's, um, no, he's, a great little, he's a great bloke and he'll, he'll fight hard for it. He, 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 just, he just, I mean, he can't believe... Uh, where he is at the moment, he just can't believe that he's been picked and, and uh, he's got that opportunity on you know on Friday to walk out um, if they bat. Um, you know, to open the batting for Australia. So uh, we're all pumped with it down here. We're just so proud of him. What's his strengths, Rhino? Like, does he play pace better than spin? Or he's very he's very patient. He's got a very good eye. He leaves the ball really really well. Um, he he has actually he's probably worked on that over the last you know. 12, 15 months, his scoring rates. He probably was spoken about it, you know, a year or two ago about his scoring rates. So he does score well now, and but he's very watchful and he's very patient. He's got he, he can he can leave all day. He can be one off fifty balls if he needs to, but then he catches it up quite 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 quickly. So um, look, he's just got as I said, his temperament's probably his strength, one of his strengths. He's just he's just so calm when he when he when he gets out there and um, 
you know, again, it's going to be great to see him up against what's a pretty good attack. In the Indian attack is going to be a challenge, but uh, I think he can, if anyone's going to handle it, he can. We are chatting with Ryan Harris, uh, talking about uh, the young debutant uh, for Friday, Nathan McSweeney. Just before we get off Nathan, does he remind you of a, a former batsman at all, Ryan? Or is there, is there a player that he's sort of a little bit similar to? Oh, good. Top of my head, probably probably not. He's probably his you know, own unique sort of, yeah, person and player. Mm. And um, oh, look, he, he's not, I wouldn't say he's a, he's a huge, you know, shot maker and, or anything like that. He's not extravagant or he's not, you know, he's not um, clary or anything mm. like that. Uh, he, he can be. He's shown that he can be in the T20 in the, in the, in the big bash over the last couple of years. Um, look again. He's just. I think his technique stands up, and and as I said, his temperament's huge. So I think you know that they're two big things for me that I learned. Not that I was a bastard in test no. cricket, but the players I played with had, and I think he's got all a lot of those attributes. Hey, Rhino, it, with Cameron Green being ruled out pretty much for the whole mm. summer, is that going to affect our bowling tactics? Does, does that mean Mitch Marsh would take up the role of what Cameron Green was doing, or does the do the other fast bowlers just bowl more overs? Well, ultimately, I, you need, one of the things we've built on on, on our, our, our bowling attack over the last well, number of years, and back when I was playing, and that's been nine years, that having that all round is a huge, um, huge thing in that team. So, yeah, Mitchell Marsh is probably, he's going to have to stand up. So he's going to be tested. I mean, he's had some niggles over the last 12, 15 months with his, with his body, and he's going to have to. Otherwise, the, the thing with that is if, you know, Nathan Lyon will probably bowl a few more, but if the, the quicks are having to bowl, um, you know, more and more overs, then they're probably going to struggle to get through. Well, it's five tests now, isn't it? So, um, you know, he, he's going to have to definitely shoulder some of that load. Cameron, Cameron Greeny was bowling quite a few overs in the last mm. sort of test series. So he's, yeah, Mitch is going to have to take that up. So it's going to be a test for Mitch. But I think by the sounds of it, he's had some time off. He's recouped his body. And, uh, you know, it sounds like, again, I'm only reading the media reports, but it sounds like he's ready to go. He knows his responsibility and, he, and he's obviously expecting to bowl a bit more overs. So, um, I think as and knowing Mitch Marsh, he'll be he'll be up for it. He's a pretty good character in that team, and he'll be trying to help his mates out to to get the result they they want. Well, Rhino, I have a vested interest in this uh, bowling attack because um, I have a bet with uh, Marnus Labuschagne, and I've <laughs> asked a lot of former fast bowlers. <laughs> now I'm going to ask you. The bet is, I'm going to if he can bowl over 135 clicks in a Test match, I have to give him a crypto coin, and if he doesn't, he's got to give me a crypto coin. Whose side would you rather be on, mine or Marnus's? Um, that's a really good question. Of what I played, we played against him a couple of weeks ago, and he was trying that hard. Yes. So I don't think there was a speed gun. There was, My yeah. Wife, no, was, there was, Rhino. There was, and he said, there? yeah, and he goes, I. It wasn't official, but there was a speed gun there, and he goes, I bowled 134. Oh, okay. So you've got, you've got a problem there because I believe that the TV camera is a little bit inflated. Oh, They're not necessarily... But he's going to go on that. So you're in trouble. Oh. I would back you in that. Okay, well... <laughs> because my but, only worry with it is, my yeah. only worry is if he tries to do that, which he's going to, knowing Marnus, he could potentially rip the side in half, which will affect his batting. <laughs> yeah, he's going right. to be trying to bowl it that fast. <laughs> I, I, okay, but is, is, would, would, would Paddy let him bowl fast? Or would he say, look, just go and bowl your leggies, but... Um, Okay, this is my question to you. If Paddy says, yeah, he throws in the ball and he bowls four of these leggies and then he goes back to his mark, would would Patrick blow up? Would the captain blow up? Or if you get the ball, you can yeah. do whatever you want. Well, it's a good question. Knowing Marnus and that little scenario you've You've both, you've both got, but he's definitely going to try and bowl at least a couple of fast ones. <laughs> I know. Bigger. That's good. I didn't want to hear that. <laughs> you know what? So knowing, knowing Marnus... Being the competitive beast or competitive idiot, as I call him, yeah, here, yes. he's gonna he's gonna take you down, or he's gonna oh, he's gonna have a massive crack at taking you down. So shit. I don't think it matters what Paddy Cummins says. If he says you bowl leg spin, he's gonna say no. I've got to bowl 134 k's. Oh, I love oh. it. Oh, you know what? How good would that look if he did bowl four or five leggies and then went back to the mark? And that, that that's just purely that's you versus him right there. Of course it is. Yeah. Oh, well, he's bowling. He's, he's, he did it. He wants to do he it. He did it the other week. Yeah. Yeah. He did it the other week. Stick to your leggies. Yeah, I love that. I don't. I absolutely love that. Uh, what about, uh, he's got a new f- favourite too, uh, Fletchy Boy, Spencer Johnson. What do we oh, know about him? Oh, wonderful, yeah. wonderful looking man. Yeah, he's, he's, a looking, he's a wonderful, he knows it, he knows it too. So oh, don't, oh, don't tell quite. me that, Rhino. Yeah, yeah. I thought no, he was he very modest. He's good. I know, he's no, off. He is, he's very, very modest. He's, I've just ran into him. We're, just, we're about to have training in Adelaide, Adelaide Oval for uh, under lights, and he's just, uh, he just walked in. 
first time I've seen him since playing for Australia. He did. He's got a little bit of a strut about him, which oh. he has, but he's he's pretty good. He's pretty good. He's not. He's very very modest. So hey. it's nice to have uh, Spencer back. He's back in for. Uh, the pink, we played a pink ball here on Saturday against WA, which is going to be huge under light. So he's back for that, um, um, back in the squad for that. So you know it's going to be nice to have him around again. Awesome, and your man's back too, Wayne Bennett, back to the burrow. You happy with that? He is. Yeah, oh, yeah. Something had to be done. <laughs> I don't yeah. like to sit at the. I just got my membership pack today, actually. Oh. COVID, so I'm, I'm back on. I'm back on board. I've got the hat. I've got the scarf. My 15th scarf or whatever I've got now. So. Uh, I'm back in back invested. I'm obviously down in Adelaide. It's been really good because since I left Adelaide, we never used to get any rugby league. Now we get it every week. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. So. Did you get that for awesome. free? Did you get that for free, Rhino? No, no. No, I got to pay. Pay okay. me membership. No, pay me membership. Okay. <laughs> pay me membership. Fair so. enough. Fair well, enough. Rhino, good. <laughs> good luck in that pink ball game. Uh, take you on WA. You're flying, mate. You're clearly doing wonderful things down there, mate. We really appreciate you sharing this bit of insight into young Nathan McSweeney, and we wish you all the best. We look forward to getting you back on. Yeah, look forward to the boys. Thanks very much. Thank you, brother. Ryan Harris, what a keeper. Well, yeah. He's not a keeper, he's a bowler, but he's, he's a keeper, a if you know what I'm saying, no, Brian. He's very good.